Hello everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have a card for you uh, using one of my favorite stamp sets and bundles really um, from the New Occasions catalog. So we are going to be creating this card and I got the design directly from the Occasions catalog. So on page 11 um, this bundle is called Birthday Blast, and the second I saw it, I knew I had to have it. It was going to be one of my favorites, and it sure enough is. So you can see here, they have a couple samples, and we are going to be re recreating this one um, with purple, purples and gold, um, which I love. Um, so just remember, for some of my new viewers, all of the catalogs, whether it's the annual catalog, um, the occasions catalog, the flyers, they all act like idea books. So if you're ever stuck for an idea or in a rush, um, just remember to look back to those. They're a great resource um, for you guys to have. So let me go ahead and show you uh, how we created this. The supplies we're going to be using today, let me set that aside, we have a piece of Whisper White. This is just the regular, you could use the thick here. Uh, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have another piece of Whisper White that is cut four and a quarter by five and a half, so it'll fit completely over um, the front of the card. I have a piece of Elegant Eggplant. This is one and a half by five and a half. And I have a two inch circle that I used our punch for in Wisteria Wonder. You could use the circle, layering circle framelits as well. We are going to be using one of our gold doilies. These come in a multi-pack. You can have gold and silver. Um, those can be found in the annual catalog. We're going to be using some of the metallic enamel shapes, the gold ones. And then I'm also using um, our triple banner punch. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our stamping. So on the piece, um, on the Whisper White layer, you're going to want to um, stamp with it going vertically or portrait, and we are going to be stamping the large image from this set twice. And we are going to do that in the Elegant Ink Plant. So let me ink this up. Just make sure I haven't used my purple in a while. Okay, and then you want to have this banner at the top. So be sure you're straight. And hopefully I don't get my head in the camera. And then I'm just going to want to press that. Let that ink absorb. Okay. And then we're going to ink it up again. And now I'm going to basically flip it over. So now I have that part at the bottom. I'm going to try not to get my head in here. And we're going to give that a nice press. Just want to be sure those stars. There we go. That's better. Okay. All right. So we are done with the elegant ink plant for now. Now we can go ahead um, and focus on our image going this way. So what I've done is I've added a bunch of dimensionals to the back so that I have a nice solid um, layer that's going to go across the front. Then I am going to bring in um, the piece of Elegant Eggplant and I'm going to put this into our triple banner punch and flag both ends of that. And now I'm going to take the Celebrate You sentiment from that set with my Archival Basic Black. Let me ink that up. And I'm going to stamp that in the center. press. Okay. Looks good. Okay, we're going to set that aside. 
I am going to do some stamping on the inside as well, but we'll go ahead and finish our center. So I have my gold doily, and I have my um, two-inch circle in Wisteria Wonder, so I'm going to put some fast fuse on that, and I'm going to lay that right over, and now I'm going to put some fast fuse right down whoops, the center of this as well. Oops. And then I am going to take some of our gold thread and I'm going to wrap it around my hand. Whoops, sorry. Four to five times. So I'm kind of going to open my hand like this and just wrap it. And then I'm going to try to get my hands on that as best I can. And I'm going to lay that directly in that fast fuse. Okay, so you can see my tail is kind of sticking out. I'm just going to put that back in. Same thing on this side. If your tail doesn't make it, you can stick it in the fast fuse. And then I'm just going to separate my thread a little bit. Okay? All right, so let's bring back our um, card base. I'm going to take the backing off of all of our dimensionals. All right, and then now we are going to lay this right onto the front. I'm going to try to do my best to line this up. White on white sometimes isn't the easiest. Okay, there we go. Just give that a nice press. And then now I'm going to put a couple more dimensionals on our centerpiece. And then I'm going to lay this in the center with my thread facing uh, up and down. And now I'm just going to add fast fuse down my banner. Give a little bit more up there. And then we're going to put that across our doily. And then that'll hide where you put your um, thread. Okay. And then I'm going to take a couple of our metallic stars. I'm going to use one of the small ones. I'm going to put that here. I'm going to take one of the larger ones. My piercer under there. And I'm going to put that up here. Okay. And then now we can move on to the inside of our card. So on my original, you can see I, I stamped the happy birthday. And then I also used the stars that are included in this stamp set just like we did on the front with the enamel shapes, just to make it all match. Open my elegant eggplant. We're gonna ink that up. Looks good. And then I'm gonna stamp that just in the center. Make sure I'm straight here. Okay, give that a nice press. Beautiful. All right, now we'll bring in the Wisteria Wonder ink pad. And I'll start with the larger star from this set. And we're going to put one of those there and maybe one up here. Now I'll switch to the smaller star. And we'll put a couple of those under there. Okay, so that completes the project. I love this. I love these colors. I love this set. I love everything about it. I hope you guys do too. I think this one is a definite must-have um, from the Occasions catalog. So let me bring in the original. 
Okay guys, so that completes today's project. I thank you as always for watching. If you do like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. And to purchase any of today's products, you can visit my coordinating blog post at theirishscrapper.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.